Greetings! My name is Sergei Vladislavovich. We can also call me GG Game. And this is my best friend, Anatoly. And as you can see, Anatoly is pretty empty right now. Actually, it's very empty right now. As in European gas vault. And uh, since there are no more ads running in the uh, Russian language part of YouTube, and because I am a stupid useless animal, I mean, YouTuber, there are not a lot of options left of uh, how to make money, except uh, trying to make uh, Terraria content using uh, some of my English language skills. Just making Terraria content for an English speaking audience. And uh, uh, one very small, small issue, thank you language wall, thank you for existing, thank you very much. Uh, one very small moment before we are going to start a uh, uh, full review of Terraria 1.4.4 update, it just uh, should be mentioned, I think. Uh, if you think that uh, it might be a good idea to ask this dude about what is going on in the world right now, about maybe his personal opinion about the stuff which is going on in the world right now, uh, well, if you're from a country, from a state, uh, where the biggest problem is uh, a discussion about how many genders are there, 100 or 200, so I think uh, it will be very difficult for you to understand what kind of problems can people have all around the world. So, no, it's not a good idea at all to ask me about this. I hope you have much more than 30 IQ points. So, let's work a little bit. About why I consider this update to be the best in Terraria history, to be the best Terraria update ever. Well, uh, a little bit of very simple math. Uh, it took uh, 37 months for a logic to finish to make Terraria 1.4 update and it takes 10 months to finish Terraria 1.4.4 update and uh, Terraria 1.4 update has uh, around 1084 items while Terraria 1.4.4 update has 327 items so if we're going to make a number of items per month, Terraria 1.4 update has 29.29 item. items made per month. Terraria 1.4.4 update has around 32.9 or around 33 items made per month. So it's like 4 items more per month for this, for this current update. So, from this point of view, it's much more better. Yeah, I'm a very simple man, I'm a very simple person. Uh, my IQ is 30 points, so I see a lot of new items. Update is good. Nine chests. And all of these nine chests are fulfilled with content. Except the last one, because there are just a few items. Uh, just some uh, general stuff. Uh, first furniture set, second furniture set, third furniture set. Uh, some paintings, some paintings too, uh, some newer more from, uh, and the weapons and instruments from uh, an ash wood from a new biome, which locates, which is located in hell. Uh, some interesting content, a lot of interesting content. Uh, thank you for my very good pronunciation. Uh, some also very unique content, a lot of content also. Uh, some building materi materials, blocks and so on, and some also building materials. About furniture sets. Uh, three new furniture sets. I have already built uh, some houses right here. As you can see, it's a rift furniture set. Uh, it's a balloon furniture set. From my opinion, this set is uh, the, pre the prettiest not only in this update, but it's uh, the prettiest in the whole Terraria. But it's all uh, just a question, just a matter of taste. I hope it was being set correct. And the third set, it's been made from Ashwood, from uh, a new biome located in uh, Hell, in Terraria. About crafting process. 
Uh, let's put it here. You will need stone, coral, and seashell. Uh, basically, you need to go to some water source or just the bath. So the craft, uh, the craft itself uh, is pretty simple. You have to speak about uh, balloon house. You need to go to. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure how to call this in piece. All right, to a party girl, then you need to start party by, for example, buying the party machine, right? And during the party, you just buy uh, uh, balloons, balloons, balloon blocks, and just make a furniture from this. And uh, as you can see, this is balloon blocks itself. And about this one, you just go to New Hell by him, collect some uh, wood, and uh, this is ready. Also very simple. If you want to take a closer look at textures, here we are. Please take a look. Here is the second set, and here is the third set itself. Now, two new campfires. I just look how campfires look. Just uh, in general, this is... Uh, I love just this class of items in Terraria. This is a mushroom campfire, and this is uh, Ava campfire. Ava, Ava. So this is made from a new shimmer mechanic. Two new types of uh, moss. If I uh, make it, if I understand correct, uh, here's just uh, a purple one, and here's rainbow one. Uh, two new cards. Here it is. Just from my perspective, it's nothing unusual. Here it is. The next items. As you can see, I place them together, because uh, I think, in my opinion, they should be used together, just in order to get a better atmosphere, because it's uh, uh, things uh, you are basically used to get specific atmosphere. And uh, if you activate this... Uh, here it is. We got stars everywhere. This is uh, Ethereal or Ava. I I'm not... I do not remember actual name. I think maybe it's... Ethereal, maybe Ava, ah, right. very quickly, Ava, alright, and then you should activate this, this is new music box, because uh, before all this stuff uh, we have uh, on the image, and now we have a complete idea of how it's supposed to uh, to be felt. I do not use any headphones, as you can see. It's just uh, thank you, language wall, thank you again, because I cannot hear myself, cannot hear properly, and then uh, my pronunciation begins to suck even more. I think this is enough. And also you can take a look how items are glowing. And especially how a balloon set is glowing. So this is yeah, alright. This is mm, alright. But this is mm, 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 mm. this is tasty. This is shimmer. We're not going to speak uh, about the main uh, mechanics right now, just about uh, making money, but we're touching Mechanic, this mechanics alright. So, uh, you need angel statue and just throw it here. Wait, and you got even monolith. So, uh, you just saw transformation mechanic. Uh, this is what uh, Shima is mainly about. Uh, this is echo chamber. Uh, nothing special, right? Until you do this. This is a very interesting mechanic. Uh, what you need to do? First of all, it cannot be bought, it should be crafted. So, uh, you go to Cyborg, and uh, it should be located uh, in uh, your Tombstone mini biome. And uh, you can buy Echo Blocks. And then you use Echo Blocks, just uh, a full craft on your screen, in order to make this Echo Chamber. And, and you also need Echo Coating. Echo coating can be bought also in Thompson Biome, but for this time uh, you need a painter. The next mechanic, pretty useless, but we have it. It's a pool. So for this stuff uh, you need to eat, 
something, it doesn't matter what, just fruits, just casual food and so on. But if you want to have more poop blocks, you need uh, to eat a better food. You know that there are three types of improvements, minor, medium and major. Go to toilet and you need uh, your buff to be active, then sit in the toilet and just wait. It's ready. We have full pop poop blocks and no buff left. So basically it disappears. And uh, we can place them here, like this for example. And then jump on it, we have a specific sound. And then we have a debuff uh, on 3 seconds. Stinky, you smell terrible. Ah, la la la. La, 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 la. Thank you very much. Here we have a statue of uh, Kurt, and here we have a statue of uh, Monaster. A hot crystal, Monaster. Next, very interesting mechanic. It's uh, we have 59 new paintings. Let's just count a little bit. We have 8, 16. It's like 6 on 2. 12, 16 plus 12, 28, uh, 31, uh, 34, 37, 40, uh, 45, 30, uh, 49, uh, 57, 58, 59. We also have 5 new pets here, so first of all, it's combined slimes. Just 2 slimes here, you can see them. Uh, Relogic made a spoiler about this one. Uh, we have this dude as my russian speaking viewers told me this is geronimo from stadio valley the third pet is this dude i'm not i don't know i have no idea where is this from maybe it's some, some sort of also easter egg then we have this dude so it's p for plush if you don't make any mistakes it's from project zomboid i uh, yeah, this one is glow tulip this one is solar up and this one is resplendent dessert and this one is blue chicken, the fifth new pet. It's like chicken. It's also from somewhere. Maybe it's also Stardew Valley. Because the sprite... I have some experience in Stardew Valley. It's not that big as in Terraria, obviously. Uh, now let's take a closer look about... Sorry. On new kakadus. Uh, we have one right here. We have some of these dudes right here. Basically, we have all these dudes right here. Uh, why they are not placed yet? Because Terraria has some very unique feature. You can stay in the world, in this world. But if you go, for example, a little bit further of your screen borders, they disappear. I am not sure about the uh, amount of time they disappeared after, but they just disappear. So. This one should be here. This one should be here. This one is considered to be here. This one here. And this one here. Uh, from my opinion, it looks good, but uh, I cannot hear it right now for just uh, pronunciation uh, reasons. But I have already heard them. They're pretty noisy, but it just looks good. If you have them in terrariums, they if you don't make any mistakes, they do not make any sounds for any of these reasons. They just uh, sit uh, and do not bark, and are not barking with their tongues. Uh, he also is a very interesting thing. What it's doing? It's a uh, chlorified extractor. I'm not sure about a correct name. Yeah, chlorified extractinator. Sorry. So, it's uh, been made from... Uh, just a common extractinator, plus, if you don't make any mistakes, 10 chlorophyte bars, and here we have it. So, what can it do? First of all, just imagine, uh, you have, for example, a gold in your world, right? Not platinum. And then you fish a little bit, you have some small fishing, and uh, you get some uh, platinum from crates. And you want to farm a uh, king of slimes, and you need uh, to summon it. You take this platinum, take a look here, use your left uh, mouse button, and you just convert it. And it works uh, 
in the same way, just with uh, alternative, just also with an alternative. Or what it also can do, for example, slash block. Using a casual exterminator, you can only transfer it to pre hard murders. Here, you can do next thing. anymore. Also, it can purify blocks. As you can see here, nothing very unusual. I think I can drop it now into rubbish bin. Now we're finally ready to speak a little bit about Shimmer. The core mechanic in uh, Truari 1.4.4 update. So, uh, you need new worlds, if you want uh, to have it natural spawn, because obviously in uh, old worlds it uh, doesn't spawn naturally. And uh, it doesn't spawn in uh, Hello Biome, I just uh, put it here. It spawns uh, from the jungle side, under the ocean. But you can have this stuff, the bottom of Shimu bucket, in order to make sh uh, Shimu lakes. So, how it's crafted? Uh, first of all, it can be made only after Moon Lord, and then you take your bottomless water bucket and drop into Shimmer, and just wait for transformation. Here you have a bottomless bucket, just uh, the same one. And the second way, I think it's for the worlds, for old worlds, where you cannot find Shimmer, because it just doesn't spawn there. You need a bottomless bucket and plus 10 luminant blocks from Moon Lord and also after Moon Lord. Another mechanic it's uh, this assembling of items. Let's uh, take, for example, Ank Charm and drop it here. And uh, it gives you all the crafts. Uh, I do not have any place. Well, actually, we do not need it right now anymore. And for example, uh, if you drop it here, you also have these ones. Uh, two, 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 two. Let's take it and put it here. Another interesting mechanic. For example, let's take a look at our war emblem. For example, you do, need, you do not need this, you play as a ranger, you defeat a uh, uh, wall of flesh boss, and then you have a war emblem. You just do not give, sorry, you just do not give a shit about war emblem. So you just put it here, and you got range emblem. Well, it, it, it just, how to say it, it just luck. Alright, that uh, I have just got range emblem. It can read uh, your minds actually, but how it works. It if this item cannot be disassembled, disassembled, right? If it's the every beginning of a craft tree, you can roll it to another items which are being used together with the simple items. If we're speaking about uh, items which are not simple right which have been crafted from another materials they will be disassembled disassembled right i have already just shown you for example we have two items here right they're simple we're in the beginning of the craft tree so take a look please this is how it works and we can do the, the same thing here and the result will be the same but for example we've uh, this emblem is just uh, very useful. And it also can transform things into the alter eggs. Let's call it this way. For example, we have eight permanent buffs. Permanent, no tempera, but permanent buffs in 1.4.4. How to obtain them? Uh, let's drop it here. First of all, Uh, take life root, take life crystal, take mana crystal, 
Uh, take apple. Or just any other fruit. Not food in general. But fruit. Alright. Take spelt. Uh, spell tome. Take pin pearl. Take gold worm. Only gold worm. Alright. When you should nick. Uh, when you should take thank you language wolf and again. Uh, Pedal's head. I drop it here. Wait a minute, but... Ah, we're here. I just thought that they disappeared very quickly. Alright. So. Let's put it here. Just uh, in one line. Go to the trash bin. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight permanent buffs. So, Battle Crystal. Consumable. Permanently boosts, boosts life regeneration. As you may know, there are a lot of builds, I also love these builds, uh, when you have, for example, like, 8 times more regen than usual, or maybe even more. Use it. It can be used only one time, right? And then you cannot use it. Arcane Crystal, Permanent Increase Mana Regeneration, the same thing. Uh, advanced, combo, advanced Combat Techniques, Volume 2. Increases the defense and strength of all villagers. Uh, Peddler Satchel, permanent increased item sold by traveling merchant. We take this one. Uh, it also can be dropped by TED if I don't make any mistakes. Because it's the second buff, which is uh, applied not, not on you, but on your world. On your world file. Aegis Fruit, permanent increased defense. Uh, Ambrosia, permanent increased mining and building speed. Uh, Galaxy Pearl permanent increases luck, and this one, Gummy Worm permanent increases uh, efficient skills. So yeah, six permanent buffs uh, on yourself, on players, on player file, which cannot be dropped because there's just not some such soft. Or maybe there is. You should need just have backups and two buffs which uh, apply it on your world file, so you can drop it just in order to use it again. But uh, just. In this case, just in normal scenarios, you can use it again. It's about permanent buffs. But you can also transform a lot of other interesting things into something very good. First of all, let's take a look uh, if we dive into this stuff without uh, this item, Chromatic Cloak. Well, obviously, you should take Star Cloak, drop it here, and it's uh, Chromatic Cloak right now, alright? But if you decide, if you have 30 key points and you decided to dive about this, you are just going to submerge into blocks until you find some empty space here. So, uh, let's put it back here. And about some other items, for example, Enchanted Sandial. Thank you very much. Uh, we take Enchanted Sandial, 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 I'm not sure about this stuff. And it's, it transforms into... Where it is? Ah, here. Enchanted Mundial. So... Enchanted Sandial allows you to skip night. And this one allows you to skip uh, a day. So you have a full collection of time skippers at now. Also one time per week. Then, uh, you can use, for example, a contaminator to give su super. Language wall, thank you very much! Well, actually, we have a world su super in, in Russian, which also it sounds like super. Super, super, super. It's improved version of contaminator. Unfortunately, I do not have any solution right now. I think I'm going to show, to show you a little bit, a little bit later. Uh, how it works. Then, for example, out of Discordia, it transforms, transforms into Road of Harmony. So it's basically the same thing, but it has not a unique feature of Road of Discordia. So there are some tactics when this stuff can be not so useful as a Road of Discordia. Ah, it has a next feature. It can downgrade your ores. So if you have some ores. Do not put it here, right? But w maybe if you have a lot of summers, if and you do, and you want some uh, 
other words, for example, for building purposes, you can do this thing, for example, Luminate, alright? You put it here, it's, it's uh, like the same mechanic as with uh, Chlorophyte Extractinator, and you get Chlorophyte, so it's downgrade. For example, if you take, if you take Copper Ore, yeah, it uh, locates here for some purposes, for some purpose, right? Uh, you get stone from this stuff, and it works uh, completely in complete same way as uh, Chlorophyte Extractinator. For example, uh, <laughs> I just threw threw it away. For, uh, all right, just trust me. Just, just trust. Me. Uh, you have, for example, turn into uh, ores, and it just transforms. Transformers, all right, from one into another, like gold into platinum, platinum into gold, adamantite, adamantite into titan, and backwards. So completely same mechanic. You can also drop some money here, just in order to increase your luck. Your luck, sorry. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure how it works. Maybe some distance. I do not see some. Uh, Timer right here, I'm not sure how it works. I know that it just works. And I'm not sure about uh, the size amount of money you spend and how it increases your luck. Because I, I may be stupid idiot, but there is no no number of luck you have, right? right. But it's good, obviously, for example, for efficient. And now it's time to speak about this item, Slime Balloon. And we have 8 Town Slimes. This is new class, because it's like uh, the same thing as NPCs, as town pets, uh, and uh, it has a unique feature, it doesn't have ID. So technically, it's not an item, so it doesn't include it, uh, it's, it doesn't include... It doesn't include it... In uh, 327 items, alright? Alright. So, the first one, for example, you take this Sparkle Slime Balloon and you drop it here, but you do not drop it with your, just like... You, you kick it out from your inventory. You should take it and kick it out from with using left button of the mouse. Here it is, slime star to wear 250 HP. Some mobs, for example, like slimes, they transform. They transformed into their alter ego. And for example, as you can see here, there's actually one mob which can be transformed. We have one U banner here. So, if you uh, if you like to collect some things, you need to build some sort of farm around uh, Shima Lake you have, because you need to farm some uh, Shima slimes. Take a copper short sword. Drop, uh, not very successful. Successful, right, thank you very much. It's the second slime. And has name Striker. About the third one. We need to summon slime card. I'm not sure how it's going to work if you have already defeated, but I prefer just to summon it, alright? Then you just kill it. And we have a new slime here also. It's Stuart. Just after defeating, or I'm not sure, just after killing, or just after defeating in your world, just in general, this boss. I'm not sure about such details, sorry. Why, why I am I apologizing? And about five hours, you can uh, summon one of them just during party. Right, it's very simple. Another one will be flying near flying islands. Another one you can you can get it obtain it while fishing during the blood moon. Another one can be found in chest after defeating skeleton in dungeon and the last one can be found by using clintaminator on very rare frog if i not make any mistakes in underground jungle and about this uh, terraformer or just super clintaminator it work this way for example first of all it has increased radius right second moment it consumes a very small amount of solution and now we're almost finished with update review we're almost at the end and now let's take a look uh, at swords reworks but you should understand that only 
Terrorblade itself and Terrorblade components where it worked, if I understand correct. No other swords, just only these ones, just like best from best. Let's take a Terror Blade, a Terror Sword, in the beginning. My first thoughts when I saw it. It's like playing Calamity mod, or what? Or like any other big Terrarium mods, because it looks almost the same. I do not say that this is bad. I don't understand me correct, but it's like the same, just Excalibur. The same thing, but without launching projectiles. So, this is like uh, a ranged weapon, right? Technically, it's a uh, close weapon, it's melee weapon with builds. I ah, also, do not, take it, uh, do not take a look at this build, please. It's very silly, it's like just... Do not take a look, do not, do not, uh, just forget it, please, alright? Thank you very much. So, Excalibur, true Excalibur, so it's a big range, but it also doesn't uh, launch projectiles. Uh, through Knight's Age, it also launches some projectile. Also, it's not the best build, so I'm not going to show you numbers of damage. I think it's not important here, because uh, you also you may know these numbers by yourself, and I think you most probably know it. Uh, most likely know it. Blade of Grass, as you can see this effect. Uh, Blood Butcher. It uh, should have contact with enemies, just in order to show oh, it doesn't. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Alright, Light's Bane has this unique feature. And for example, Volcano. Volcano has this effect, uh, you can say an explosion, alright? Right. Then, the same effect with Knight's Edge. So, uh, finally, about uh, Muramasa right now. So, you can see these effects, like, uh, like scratches. Uh, also can be seen only on enemies. Now the horseman blades. The horseman blades, sorry. Well, actually the same effect. So, almost all of them has uh, have the same effect. And I'm not sure about Star Fury, but my uh, viewers from my Russian language, but viewers from my Russian language channel say that it has some starry work. Maybe it drops. I think, yeah, I think it drops much more quicker than it was before. Now let's just take a look at uh, other different items. Some of them are very interesting. Uh, here, Hand of Creation increases mining speed by 25%, increases uh, block and wall placement speed, increases block placement and tool range uh, and loot range by 3, increases pickup range for items, automatically paints or coats placed objects. Hold up to reach higher. So, a lot of buffs. Just in one item. Uh, Neon Moss, uh, Helm Loss, you can see it right here. Then, Fly Miller, just a sword, I think, with no interesting effects. I can do some mistakes, however, but I think it has nothing interesting, so just I do not want to spend some time on it. Uh, Lilith Necklace, uh, this is interesting. Uh, it's it use it can be used as a mount, and so it it, it not can it it it, it can be used as a is a mount. It's it you it it <laughs> it's used as a bump, right? And you can run very fast. And if you take a closer look here, we do not have any uh, accessories, any enchantments on uh, movement speed. So it just we, without any of this stuff. We don't have any uh, potions right now, any buffs. Just like it's already very big speed. So maybe there will be some uh, builds which can be used uh, to reach some uh, crazy speeds. A new pet. Uh, sling bug, 10% bait power, just a new sling bug cage, uh, terraform itself, uh, venom dart trap, uh, new trap, it just went right, and nothing good, nothing interesting at all, sling bug blocker, when placing harm prevents villagers from moving in, so it's some sort of, like, puts in some borders. Ghostly uh, sling bug blocker, uh, can be placed when placing harm prevents villagers from moving in, so, like, the same effect, but uh, but it uh, has also a second effect, only visible with Echo Sight. Smells like expired slant. I, I do not know what slant is. And we have uh, different uh, fish and bobbers here. It has the same effect, but, but we have uh, uh, different colors. So, increases uh, fish and power by 10. But, it's not material, so as you can know, you obtain some accessories from... Uh, 
um, fishing quests, right? And you can then combine it all into one and save a lot of accessory slots. Here, unfortunately, you cannot combine it, combine it with uh, all of these accessories, so it acquires additional slots. But uh, fishing skills in this update were upgraded for an obvious reason. Uh, for an obvious reason, because you get you have additional luck, you have uh, much more fishing power, so it's it's very good for fishing lovers. Hello, Moss Fishing Barber. It's like it changes color. Uh, one of the frost of frosting, I think, doesn't need our attention. Uh, first furniture set, a second furniture set, third furniture set, like paintings here, like new side potion show location on infected blocks. Let's take a very cool, a very quick look and uh, I mean, how it works. It works very simple. You can see it here. So this box is just nothing interesting at all. Uh, parrots, ash grass, grass seeds from a new biome. Uh, we're already uh, at the point where we can see this biome. So paintings, uh, mounds, uh, sorry, pets, new food. Uh, a new food, some new um, items from Ash Wood. Moon Glow. Does it to change how the moon looks? So basically, I think it's uh, almost the same thing as, for example, Tree Globe, right? When you toss it on tree and you can change the look of the tree. Repair Life Crystal, Repair Mana Crystal. We have a Terra Card and we have another. It's a ninth permanent upgrade. And it's a Minecart Upgrade Kit. About uh, craft, I think I, I will place it on the screen, and it's made from uh, free mechanical parts you can obtain from mechanical boss. So it's very simple. And after you use it, you have permanent buff, and you also have mechanical card. Uh, the entire item is nothing interesting. Echo wall, echo platform, just new mushroom torches. So this is very interesting. I am a fan of uh, yo yo. I have at least three. Your, your playthroughs on my Russian language channel. So it spreads bees like uh, bee bow, like bee sword. It has the same effect. So it can be uh, used with uh, a specific accessory. Yeah, which increases the strength of your friendly bee of your friendly bees. So some interesting builds, but it works. It can be used on a short period of time because then it will be useless. This is a very interesting thing, just uh, let's take a look at this very quickly. Uh, X of growth, of regrowth, sorry. Recipe on the screen, I will try my best not to forget it. And as you can see, uh, acorns, just go to trash bin, we're not going to need this. Take a, take a look here. And it places a tree right here. And it doesn't consume acorn drop from tree. And it doesn't consume acorns because we had not them at all. So it's like free acorns. And saving your time and saving your nerve system. Chlorophyte exterminator, uh, pet, it's like Tromaran, nothing useful. Uh, mushroom campfire, uh, Macau. And you have also bottomless honey bucket, uh, honey absorbent sponge, like with the lava stuff because we didn't get it early, and very interesting thing, it's Ultra Absorbent Sponge. Let's take a look at craft, it's very simple, I think uh, you understand what kind of components uh, it needs. Yes, three, all, all, of, all three of them. And uh, if you want to combine them, uh, you need to go to your Mithril or Recalc Anvil. And just here it is, we can use it. I'm not going to show the speed uh, of uh, using uh, it. I, I, I think that maybe the speed is the same and uh, Ultra is only about that you can absorb all liquids. Reef blocks, reef wall, uh, paintings, uh, gate environmental pre preservation prevents you from accident accidentally destroying the environment while you're in the inventory. So understandable, la 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 la, we already know this, some new statues, decorative healing potions. Uh, Shadow Candle, so very interesting effect, nullifies the pistol benefits of town. Of town. So if you want to fight, to farm mobs, for example, collect some banners, I'm also, if, I, 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 also, I also like to collect things. So you just place it and you have much more mobs. 
get a peaceful existence the same effect uh, as here but uh, also prevents you from accidentally destroying the environment while uh, no 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 prevents you from uh hurting creatures while in the inventory it doesn't require additional slot because it can be just in your inventory i'm not sure okay, is it worked from your trash bin slot because trash bin slot as we all know it's also additional slot but just do not quit from your world all right otherwise it can be used so Rubble Maker, large, it's also a very interesting thing, it has three modes of work and we need stone for this. Actually, what it does? About a way of obtaining, you can see it now on the screen, if I do not make any mistakes, so you can buy it. From maybe... Right button. Small. Medium. Large. And, where, and then you use your W as buttons. And it changes the types of obstacles uh, you can place. And it consumes one block of stone. And here you get one block of stone. It also has a very unique effect, just take a look here. It can place these dudes. But it doesn't give you a sword. So it can be also some very interesting money, ba money bug, but it doesn't work this way. So let's put it back here and to close the void back. Void back uh, now has also pure gems of work opened and closed. It's very simple. Uh, Artisan loaf. It's the tenth and the last permanent upgrade. Consume uh, to permanently increase crafting station range. So about this TNT barrel. It doesn't destroy blocks, so you can be completely calm about this. Put it here. That's basically all. So, about this stuff, gas trap. It's used uh, when you open the chest, right here. So, it's not, a, that's why it's in the chest. So, you can see it damages you a little bit. And apply it uh, by applying poison debuff. Uh, chest lock can be used to lock some chests. I have already tested uh, with this chest, but it doesn't work. So this one is the same with obstacles, but different sizes. Battle of uh, horse or balloons, also very interesting stuff. Just uh, foot jumps. I am stupid idiots, my apologies. And as you can see, the second and third jumps were big. So you can already understand what kind of craft uh, doesn't uh, require. I think it's like uh, balloons, then sandstorm in a bottle, and then I think it's uh, probably like blizzard in the bottle. Let's test it very quickly. I think it works this way. Yeah, it's it's not blizzard in a balloon, it's not snowstorm in a balloon, it's... Uh, upgrade items, but uh, you understand, because you see the effect and you understand uh, what is going on right now. A new pet, new pet, and this is an Akram Razor. We are going to talk, we are going to take a look at this a little bit later. Uh, Rot of Harmony, uh, this is uh, permanent upgrades from uh, uh, Shimmer, uh, Echo Coating, Echo Chamber, uh, Monolith, new arrows, Ethereum blocks, after contact with uh, some liquids. Uh, you cannot just use buckets for shimmer, you can just uh, pour it, uh, just like dig in and uh, have contact with any liquids. Failing and failing in the bottle, so it's just critters after contact with uh, shimmer, and then you put them in a the, in the, in the bottle. Uh, shimmer slam bottle, uh, uh, Ava torch, uh, reflect shades immune to darkness and purification, and uh, petrification, chromatic cloak, this stuff. And then uh, we have very uh, interesting stuff here. Use the right button to change point of destination. For example, home. It's a place of your bed, right? Ocean. Uh, if you speak about of ocean, it teleports you to the most distance side, right? Because if you are very close to the ocean, there's no need for you to teleport to this side because you can go by your by your foots, for example, yeah. And now it teleports you to another side, to another side, and this effect rotates. Then it's hell, and then it's spawn. So spawn and home, it's two different places, right? I think you understand it. 
Uh, however, you can change uh, the spawn uh, point in TD, so it's not an issue. And uh, uh, Terraria has uh, four different ideas for the stuff music box. And we're also infested spider wall. I'm not sure how many of them you need uh, to begin the, proce the process of uh, spawning mobs. Because 16, for example, it didn't work. Maybe I should uh, wait much more time, but I just do not want to spend time on this. Uh, flares, enchantment mundial, just waffle iron, just melee weapon, uh, bouncy boulder. Just not very interesting. Actually, it's very dangerous. Like, it's very dangerous. Like, more than a half HP with 82 per per protection. It uh, has a lot of bounces actually, so a pretty long uh, lifetime of this boulder. Like crystal boulder, like the same thing. Uh, it's another vanity, vanity items, nothing interesting. Like vanity items, this is a very interesting thing. Uncubern stone, for, uncub, uncubern stone, for example. Uh, we have a slot right here. Right mouse button click. And we are not collecting anything. If you want to make, uh, to keep your inventory clean, this is a uh, must-have item, like really must-have. And then we just another right-click uh, button, and it doesn't work again. So, new solutions, so, poo, we have already taken a look at this, just, new. this one. Uh, this is probably the most rarest, the most rare item. The most rare or the rarest? Alright, it's the rarest item in the game. It sounds a bit like this. About chances of uh, obtain in the small world, you can obtain it from free, from free, from free, from free. Uh, random dirt blocks in all of the world. Free dirt blocks can be transformed into this. Just free, free, free from all the world. In medium world, it's six. In the big world, in the large world, it's nine. And uh, in uh, Seed Celebration Mark 10, the chances are multiplied by 5, so it like 45, the max amount. Blocks, new blocks, new blocks, new walls, new blocks, new walls, fertilizer. Greetings, Minecraft. Cause the saplings, cause the saplings to instantly grow into trees. Unfortunately, I think it doesn't have any wide use. Yeah, for, for example, for some fish bait farms, for maybe some, if you like to just farming fruits, and for some other stuff, but we, let's be honest, we do not have a very big farming system in Terraria right now. I want farming update about plants, about animals. I want it a lot. Maybe with collaboration with Stardew Valley, right? When you have NPCs where uh, you can go to them and build some houses, build some items, uh, Terraria has already some fruits. Maybe we can add. Maybe we can add some specific uh, trees for this fruits, like a grape tree, for example. Yeah, like mango tree, like apple tree. Why not? So this is a very interesting item. And another item, it's uh, Georgia Cola. If we are speaking about Stardew Valley, it's also it's collaboration. Maybe collaboration. Maybe just very small Easter egg. Easter egg with Stardew Valley. Finally, some Stardew Valley stuff with this pet in Terraria. Blocks. This is also a very interesting thing. Uh, you can buy this uh, go by going to Cyborg after Plantera, if I don't make any mistakes. So you put it in, into your accessory slot and you use it like this. Uh, 10 gold, 10 gold, 20 gold, after Plantera, Seb, very simple, you launch it, and for example you use A and D to change angles and to change sight, and you use W to accelerate, like this, and it can fly through the all map, just through the all map, here we are, we have already some NPCs here, yeah, and uh, 
see this get fixed boy. You can also see some slimes. And this is the new tree. Just that is. And as you can see here, also some very interesting uh, selling. And we have some uh, broken features here. First of all, uh, this seed uh, combines all effects from all other seeds. For example, for the Worthy and so on and so on and so on. No trap seeds. Uh, actually, this update has three seeds. Get fixed boy. Uh, don't dig up. No traps. No traps. It's like a joke. There are a lot of traps, a lot of uh, some new traps. Don't dig up. You start like here and go up. And uh, when you go, when you get closer to the surface, uh, it becomes much more difficult for you to play. So it has all effects. You start here, you have a lot of traps, you have a lot of damage being taken and so on and so on and so on. And you have a lot of this stuff here, just like a rainbow. It's like everywhere. And uh, just transform it. But you can see we have a tons of damage, just tons of damage. So I think, I hope you get them an idea. Let's go and take a look very quickly at borders of this biome. Here it is. This is, let's, let's call it coastline. So for me, it really looks like uh, this biome, I do not remember the name, in Calamity mode. So like, almost the same thing for me. Okram's Razor! Uh, you need all of three uh, summoning sets for all of three me mechanical bosses, so very simple. And it can be used uh, only in this in this particular seat. Like, get fixed boy if it doesn't make any mistakes. So let's use Auto Pose. It's already here, just another take a closer look at it. It's all uh, three mechanical bosses combined in one. From my perspective, it's nothing interesting at all. That's all. All in this city. So it's like, it's not a new boss. Why can't I use my dash? That's basically all. Goodbye.